gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? No. The show starts in ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, goody! Six, you can count. Five. Four, Whippy freaking do! Welcome, go. Welcome, one and all, to... The following program contains mature content. Any opinions expressed are those solely of the host and any guests. Listener discretion strongly advised. Welcome to another exciting campfire sit-down of... Voice of... Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome aboard. <laughs> How are you? Hey, welcome to another exciting podcast episode of Weiss Thoughts. I'm your host, Terry Weiss, and I am so glad that you dropped by today to our virtual campfire sit-down. And if you want to tweet at me on Twitter, it's at Terry Weiss. Just make sure you spell my name right, W-Y-C-E. Terry Weiss, that's me! Well, that's not very nice. Each episode of Weiss Thoughts will get you going through your day, give you something to talk about the rest of the week. On this episode of Weiss Thoughts, we're going to talk about have you made a major change in your life and found it difficult? Well, it's happening here, so we're going to talk about it. I'll tell you some of the things I've done and some of the things that are helping me in that journey. It's all in store for you this time on Weiss Thoughts. So grab your favorite beverage, pull up a chair, or just have a seat around our virtual campfire. We're going to get started on changing your life and steps and things you can do to help on this episode of Weiss Thoughts. Don't you go anywhere. It's coming up right after this. Thanks for listening to Weiss Thoughts. Liking what you hear? Well, go to the website to find more. That's WeissThoughts.com. W-Y-C-E-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S dot com. There you can listen to more episodes, comment on a show, check out the Twitter feed, and so much more. It's all waiting for you at my website at WeissThoughts.com. And hey, do us a favor. Would you leave us a positive rating and review if you're enjoying the podcast? You can do it right at the website or on your favorite podcast provider. Now, let's get back to the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to another installment of Wise Thoughts. Uh, Terry Wise here. So glad you're here and uh, so glad you decided to drop by. And I, I must... I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this after post-production or not, but in the studio, the uh, our neighbor here is mowing his lawn here this afternoon. So kudos to him for the um, having the effort and the energy to do it. <laughs> I've been kind of low energy lately, but good for him. Mow, mowing his lawn, mowing the grass, keeping, keeping our uh, part of the town looking wonderful and... Uh, you know, poignantly perfect, as they say, but good for that. But if you hear a little rumble in the background, we're going to try. We're going to try and remove it in post here at the Purple Pit Studios. But if it doesn't come out, I just wanted to let you know what was happening and and for the reason why. So that you're not sitting there scratching your head going, come on, Terry, you're better than this. You're a voiceover talent. You're an audio engineer. You've got audio engineers there at the Purple Pit Studios. What the heck's going on, man? So anyway, how are you? Let's start off with that. I hope all is well with you and your family. I hope everybody's happy. Are you enjoying summer? Man, summer has started, baby. That's right. Summer is here. And we are enjoying uh, somewhat of a decent summer here in the Northeast as it has kicked off already. And it's really wonderful to have uh, decent summer weather. Although, uh, at the time of the recording of this episode for you folks, they're telling us we got about three or four days worth of rain coming. So... But, you know, in every life, 
a little rain must fall. So I'll, I'll be willing to put up with that. Uh, hey, the website, weissthoughts.com, W-Y-C-E. We tell you about it every program. I know we just got to repeat it. Get the message out there. You know, tell your pets, tell your friends, tell your family about Weiss Thoughts. Check out the website. There you can listen to each and every episode of the podcast. Some of them you might like. Some of them, I'm going to be quite candid, you might not. I, I'm a strong, opinionated kind of man, and I don't shy away or back away from anything, just so you know. And some of the things you might not agree with, but that's okay. Hey, that's perfectly all right, because you're allowed to have your opinion, and I respect it. Just like, you know, you respect mine, I respect you, you respect me. And that goes a long way, especially in the United States today, my friends. Uh, we really... I. I I pontificate on this on almost every other episode, and I know some of you are out there going, oh, you're beating us over the head with this, Terry. Why? Why? Oh, why must you just... Because maybe if we start repeating tolerance and uh, valuing other people's opinions, even, you know, just because I disagree with you doesn't mean I don't like you. Now, if, if you do something nasty to me or, you know, come up and smack me in the head or harm me or mine, then I might not like you so much. But barring that, just because we disagree doesn't mean I don't like you. And nor, I think, should it for you that you don't like me. Uh, Good discussion is like a fine steak. Or if you don't prefer steak, good discussion is like a great julienne salad or whatever your culinary uh, treat of choice is. And that's what we really got to get back to. I mean, being... Being I was raised in an audio world and started, you know, DJing at a young age and got into audio production and all these kind of things, uh, I enjoy great conversation. As as Mrs. W always tells me, honey, you never shut up. Thank God you don't talk in your sleep. That's the only thing she says I don't do. That's the only time my yap isn't moving is when, when I'm sleeping. But then she says, well, sometimes you snore and I got to go sleep in the other room. And well, I tell her, hey, listen. I've never heard myself snoring. She says, ha, 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 very, very funny. <laughs> but but Mrs. W snores as well. I mean, one night I woke up and she had the curtains moving, and I had to actually, you know, evacuate the room, me and the cat, and uh, seek other shelter for the evening so I can get some shut-eye. But anyway, um, so anyway, yes, what were we talking about, Terry? Uh, yes, we were talking about the website, WeissThoughts.com. Uh, there you can check out my blog, Weiss Life, W-Y-C-E, Weiss Life, at the, uh, the blog at WeissThoughts.com. If you want to tweet at me on Twitter, it's at Terry Weiss on Twitter. And uh, Facebook page is uh, Weiss Thoughts. And I got a YouTube channel, believe it or not. And the YouTube channel is just fun, goofy stuff, music-oriented things and lessons and quick YouTube shorts and all that. Um, you know, a lot of people say, hey, man, why don't you just put out – all this crazy content on YouTube and get monetized. <laughs> Honestly, the things I do on this end for you folks, and and not only for you, I do it for my own benefit too because I, you know, some people say I love the sound of my own voice, but I just like to talk and express, tell stories and and, and go on about things. And I'm not, I'm not doing it as a business, but the business end of things I do is, you know, the voiceovers, you know, audiobooks and things like that. And by the way, if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, if you have an audiobook and you don't want to pay those exorbitant amounts that some of the big guys are charging nowadays, um, you can check me out. I'm going to have a link very shortly to my uh, my webpage for voiceover work and things like that. I am uh, I'm not cheap, but I'm not expensive either, and I ultimately care about you, the client. I mean, I'll do your voiceover trainings for your your business, uh, announcements for an event. Um, you know, if you want me to narrate videos for you, I, I have a pretty eclectic taste when it comes to that. Uh, I can do characters for books and things like that. I've done some children's books and things, uh, you know, and, and you'll hear some samples on the website. Just look for the link. It'll go to my website, uh, terryweiss.com, which is going to be up and running here in the next couple of weeks as well. You'll be able to check that out. Uh, I'm building a profile. You know, everyone says, you know, get on. My wife calls it Fiverr. I call it Fiverr, F-I-V-R-R. I don't know. Somebody put in the comments section on this episode, uh, is it Fiverr, Fiverr? How do you say it? I just call it Fiverr because a lot of stuff you can do for five bucks. Here, here's a Fiverr, man. But she says it's Fiverr. I don't know why you would call it Fiverr. I'm, I've heard it a lot of ways, Fiverr. I don't think I've ever heard it called Fiverr, but I could be wrong. You know, I've believe it or not, folks, 
I have been known to be wrong a few times in my life. More, more so if you ask uh, my wife. But I'm building a profile on, I'm going to call it Fiber for now. I'm going to have a profile on there. You can look me up. It's going to be at Terry Weiss on Fiverr. You'll be able to find me that way. I'll put a link in the website at WeissThoughts.com as well. And, you know, just lots of good things going on in summer of 2023. Lots of good things happening. Lots of changes really moving forward. Um, some new music's going to be coming out shortly. Some acoustic, uh, eclectic kind of stuff is going to be coming out, hopefully here in the next 30 to 60 days. So, hey, there's lots going on. And if you like the podcast, if you enjoy what you hear, like we talked about, share us with your friends and leave me a review on the website or on your favorite podcast provider. I mean, we can be listened to everywhere, for gosh sakes. Um, iTunes, iTunes, Apple Podcast. It hasn't been iTunes for about 10 years, Terry. Apple Podcast, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, uh, Jovan, um, Spreaker.com. I mean, you name it, we're there. So look for me. I'm I'm just kind of throwing myself out there all over the place in 2023. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of the episode. Oh, by the way, if you want to email me, it's mail, M-A-I-L, mail at wastethoughts.com. Uh, and there'll be a contact email if you're interested in that voiceover stuff I was talking about earlier. Okay? All right. Onward and upward, as they say. Now, Changing Your Direction in Life is the title of this week's episode of the podcast here on Weiss Thoughts. And I also put a link to the blog post on the website, too, on Twitter as well. Uh, You know, changing your direction in life can be challenging. Let's face it. I mean, it can be a challenging experience that requires a lot of courage, hard work, and persistence. And I don't know about you folks out there, but myself, sometimes I got to really kick myself in the ass to get myself going. And, you know, it can be scary to let go of things you're used to or have worked for a while, but sometimes it's the best decision that you can make for yourself. And I'm going to give you some information and reasons why on this episode of the podcast. And again, take this at just face value, my friends, for what it is. I am not preaching to you. I am not saying, hey, look at me. I'm up on a pedestal. I'm so much better. No, I'm saying I'm going through the same challenges, the same victories, the same defeats, the same self-doubts at times that you are. I just figure, you know, sharing stuff like this, it helps us because I I know when I listen to other people and and they share their story and I'm like, you know, I've been through that. I, I get where you're coming from, man. I've been there. Or, you know, that's really interesting. I haven't encountered that, but thanks for the heads up. I now I kind of know what to look for. You know, we we can gain so much as human beings. That's one of the great things about being a human being. We can share information readily and freely with each other and help each other and nurture each other and, you know, mentor each other along the way. So, I mean, changing, especially life-changing things. You know, I've got some life-changing things going on right now that's going to be coming up in the next 30 to 60 days that are happening in my life. Um some would look at those things and say, wow, man, that, that stinks. What's well, going to happen? Uh, you know, a long time uh, income stream is coming to an end in one facet. But I only was bummed about it for the first maybe couple, three weeks of thinking about it. I'm excited. I'm excited for the change. I'm excited for the challenge because what it, what is it, it has actually done is opened up so many opportunities for myself and my family, they're coming along for the ride. My wife, you know, the, the kids have long since gone. But it's just me and the missus left. But it's opening up so many doors of opportunity for myself to do and immerse myself in what I truly love. And, and folks, I'm doing it right here, talking to you, making audios, uh, audio content, making video content, um, voiceover work, voiceover talent, voiceover acting and things of that nature, it's allowing me now to really dig in and get down in the weeds and start really diving more into something that I've just been dabbling with for 10 or 20 years because I had to have the air quotes, as I'm doing here in the studio, I had to have that steady, reliable income because I had responsibilities, you know. (laughs) And now it's just like, you know what, we're in a position where we have been blessed and uh, we've been really, you know, smart with our money. And and again, I don't say that to chastise some of you that might have come across some challenges or some things might have happened to you. All I'm saying is we made some good decisions. 
after after making some bad ones, we've made some good decisions with our funds. Um, we managed to squirrel away some some money. So it's allowing me and affording me this opportunity at this point in my life to say, go for it, man. You, I mean, what's that expression all the young people are saying? YOLO, you only live once. Uh, why not do it then? If you only live once, why not do it? You know, I, I saw something on Facebook that really, believe it or not, as much as I bitch and moan about social media, there are some good things out there and there are some great ways to motivate you. And I saw something out on Facebook here about a week or so ago. I think it was you know, a couple of weeks back at the most. You are responsible for getting you to where you want to be. I mean, wow. That just, I mean, it was just like, bam, a ton of bricks falling on me. You are responsible for getting you to where you want to be. It was a, one of those memes. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. So, I mean, I'll tell you, you know, changing your life, deciding to change your life in whatever way, whatever way it is that you're deciding you want to change your life, whether you look in the mirror and say, man, you know what? I should drop 10 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever it may be. Or if you decide, you know what? I've been at this job for 15 years and they're starting to downsize and I'm just, yeah, I'm here just through force of habit, but I'm not really enjoying it or digging it anymore. I really want to do my passion and I want to pursue that. Whatever the, the decision is that you have to make, you know, I want to get healthier. I want to, you know, start jogging, start running, swimming, whatever. I want to improve my golf game. I want to learn an instrument. I want to learn a language. I want to write a book. I want to do poetry. I want to recite poetry at an open mic. I want to play three songs in an open mic night. Um, I want to be an actor. I want to be a voiceover artist. Whatever it is you want to be. I want to have a better relationship with my loved ones. Whatever that decision is, you want to get closer to your God or your deity or whatever it is that you may believe, making these decisions by deciding to change your life, it is the best decision you can make for yourself. I'm going to give you some steps here, and it's, again, over at Weiss Life, the, the blog at WeissThoughts.com. Uh, I'm going to put up a link to it on my Twitter account as well. And just if you you know do the Weiss Life blog at uh, WeissThoughts.com, you'll see that as well. So evaluate your current situation. That's the first thing you want to do. It's essential to figure out, you know, the reason behind you wanting to make some type of a change in your life's direction. Is it because you're miserable, unfulfilled, or do you yearn for something better? Evaluating your current situation will help you identify the problem areas and give you an idea of what you want to change. So you got to you got to do that, man, and just sit down with a piece of paper, the old-fashioned way. Go analog, baby. Sit down with a pen and, you know, one of those legal stencil books and or, you know, sheet of paper, whatever, and just write down. Take a good heart introspective look. Now, I'm not talking about this. Is Some of you, this is going to happen in five minutes, and you're going to be like, yeah, this because you've been kind of ruminating on it for a while. Some of you are going to have to maybe give this quite a few days thought. It might be three, five days or a week or more, but just keep writing down those notes. Get that information. Evaluate your current situation. The next thing you want to do is you want to build a clear vision. Once you have identified the areas that you would like to change, then it's time to create that vision of what you want your new life's direction to be. It can include identifying new procedures, a change in location, or even a lifestyle change. But ensure, you want to make sure your vision aligns with the values and goals in your life. You want to make sure your vision lines up with the goals you have. All right, that's very important. It's paramount. The other thing then, what you want to do, is once you've done that, once you've sat down, evaluated your current situation, thought about that for a while, you've, you've built a clear vision. Hey, this is what I want to do. I want to do X, Y, Z with my, with my life because I'm sick of this. I want X, Y, Z to happen. Start small. That's right. Start small. You know that expression. Hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. No kidding. So you start small. The thought of having to rebuild your life, it, it can be overwhelming. Believe me, it was for me. However, taking small steps towards your bigger vision, it'll help you build confidence. And it'll keep us motivated. Okay? It keeps you motivated. It'll keep you motivated. It's keeping me motivated. And it keeps you pushing forward. Just small little chunks, man. Every day, boom, boom, boom. You know, if you're 20 pounds overweight, 
you're not going to say, all right, that's it. I'm cutting out sweets and, and I'm, I'm exercising. And in a week, you're not going to drop 20 pounds. It's just not, I mean, it's not going to happen, my friends. We have to be realistic. But you might drop a pound or two or a half a pound, anything. Or you might even stay the same weight, not gain weight. But the key is start small. That'll keep you motivated. Because if you look at something and it's, oh, man, how many times have you said it? I've said it with things throughout my life here and there. And you hear other people saying it a lot. If you just tune in, you hear other people saying this quite a bit in society. Man, it's just too hard. Yeah, I always wanted to know how to play the violin, but nah, it's just too hard. I'm too old. I can't do that. Oh, my hands are too big. My hands are too small. Oh, I always wanted, you know, I want to be healthier, but forget, you know, I'm 40 pounds overweight. Folks, there's people out there that have dropped hundreds of pounds. John Goodman dropped hundreds of pounds. People, you know, that have dropped hundreds of pounds and gotten in shape. Now, I'm not saying that they went from being, you know, 40, 50, 60, 100 pounds, 200, 300 pounds overweight to, you know, winning a gold medal at the Olympics. But they've dropped weight, gotten healthier, changed their lifestyle, which improved every aspect of their life. Those are just a couple of examples. Another thing you want to do, okay, once you've decided, you've evaluated your current situation and you want to change, you've built a clear vision for yourself, you're starting out small, taking good, small steps, celebrating those little victories, and building your confidence, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to build a support network. Again, making significant changes in your life can be difficult, and it's important to have some, some type of support network to help you through it. Surround yourself with people who encourage you and believe in your abilities to achieve your goals. Don't surround, and, and folks, this can be anybody. I've encountered it. It could be well-intended friends and loved ones. Oh, you've said you were going to lose 20 pounds for the past two years. and pfft, Have you done it? That's not encouragement. Oh, you said you were going to learn to play the guitar and, what, you, you know, three chords, and you've been doing it for, what, five years? That's not encouragement. Now, again, these people may mean well. They may have no malice in their hearts when they tell you or say these things off the cuff. But you want to surround yourself with someone that says, you know, says, hey, oh, you're going to, you're taking up the guitar? Excellent. Awesome, man. Hey, I can't wait. You know, send me a recording when you get, you know, you know, get a song up or whatever. Or, oh, you're going to lose 20 pounds. You know, that's great. Hey, do you want to walk with me? I can come over to the house three days a week. We can go for a nice walk, shoot the breeze. What? Again, surround yourself with the people that are going to encourage you, going to um, take pride in your dream you know, along the way and help you out if they can. With just Even if it's just moral support and things like that, those are the kind of people you want to surround yourself with because it's going to help you in the long run. Those are just some things I wanted to give you right off the cuff, just four things. I mean, and again, you can read more in-depth detail, Weiss Life. That's the blog at weisthoughts.com. And you can check out all that, my friends, all that and so much more. You know, and, and again, like the old saying says, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, Michael Jordan just didn't wake up one day and he was Michael Jordan. For those of you who don't know who Michael Jordan is, the GOAT, as they say, he's the greatest of all time basketball player, in my honest, my humble opinion. But he had to practice. He had to go through the motions. He had to grow, mature. He had setbacks. He had challenges. Wayne Gretzky. I think it was Wayne Gretzky that says, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. He was one of the greatest hockey players of all time. He didn't just, you know, come out of his mama's womb and decided, you know, at seven or eight years old or whenever he started hockey, throw on a pair of skates and just started scoring 80 goals a year. He had practices to go to. He had to learn his skills. Now, he had some basic talent, just like Michael Jordan did, but they they didn't waste their talent. They got passionate. They set goals, and they got passionate about what they wanted to accomplish in their life. So at the end of the day, you know, you can do it. Anybody can do it. You know, you don't have to be an Academy Award-winning actor or actress. You don't have to have your voice on every commercial and, you know, on the television Take your small victories. Just follow. If you find find something, a point in your life and says, you know, that speaks to you and says, you know what? I really got to change my life, man. Saying it is one thing. Doing it is another. 
and I'm in the struggle with you, and I'm on your side. Just, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to beat up on you. I am on your side 100%, just so you know, okay? So just remember, I'm on your side, and I'm here for you. If you want to email me, mail at weissthoughts.com. Uh, comments on the section, uh, on tweet at me on Twitter, at Terry Weiss, or the Facebook page. And uh, good luck on your journey. Hey, thanks for listening to the program today. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there. And remember, to see a change in the world, you have to be the change in the world you want to see. It all starts with you a person looking back at you in the mirror every morning. Remember to be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. If you want to tweet at me on Twitter, it's at Terry Weiss. Stop by the website, weissthoughts.com, just to make sure you spell my name right, W-Y-C-E, weissthoughts.com. And hey, leave us a positive rating and review on your favorite podcast provider, won't you? Tell your friends, tell your family. Tell your pets about Weiss Thoughts. And I look forward to gathering yet again around the virtual campfire with you real soon. Take care.